Hi, I'm Jacob Beningo, and today I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about a new self-paced training course, real-time software using MicroPython. Back in December of 2014, I encountered a unique port of the Python 3 programming language designed to run on microcontrollers. This new port, MicroPython, is designed to run on ARM Cortex M4 microprocessors. It's a lean, mean port, and it has the great, great ability to be able to run real-time applications. There's a lot of possibilities for MicroPython. It could be used as a rapid prototyping tool. It could even be used in low or medium volume production environments. It turns out that it abstracts out the low level hardware of the microcontroller, allowing developers, instead of digging into the data sheets and looking at the low level bits and bytes of the hardware, instead it allows us to create a simple object using the PYB library. And then we interact with each peripheral through that object using different methods uh, of through the uh, class interface. Now this is really unique and very helpful for developers. It allows us to start developing software quickly. It allows us to interface with sensors and test them out to see what their real-time behaviors are. And it also allows us as developers to forget the low-level hardware and focus instead on the applications that we're actually trying to develop. Now after I played around with MicroPython for a while, uh, I discovered that you know all the nitpicky things I thought of uh, all the reasons I could come up with as to why I shouldn't use MicroPython, I pretty much was able to alleviate all those. I thought it was a pretty neat language, and as such, I thought that it would be great to tell other developers about it. So I, I went through and I developed this five-hour self-paced training course. I wanted to make it available and inexpensive so that any individual developer could go out and purchase it themselves. Uh, so it's five, about five hours. It's got labs. It's got exercises. It goes through MicroPython. It teaches how, uh, basic Python 3 programming fundamentals. It shows you the differences between C and Python. And then we talk about the real-time response of the programming language. We dive into some of the details. We interface to all the different peripherals that are on, the, on, board the, uh, uh, on board the Pi board, which is the development kit used during the course. Pretty simple. We go through, we turn on I-squared seeds, GPIOs, LEDs, accelerometers. We basically develop test scripts that by the end of the course, you have an example of how to use almost all the peripherals on board the microcontroller, which is an ARM Cortex-M part. And you'll be able to then take those exercises and start to build and rapid prototype your own systems. So I, I encourage you to check out my course. I have a number of examples up on, the, on my YouTube channel. You can go to my main page, uh, www.beningo.com, click on the YouTube link, it'll take you to my channel, or if you just look on YouTube for Jacob Beningo, you'll be able to see uh, some examples and some snippets from the course, in addition to also seeing other things that I am doing as a professional developer with MicroPython, and see how it can actually help you quickly and efficiently develop an embedded system. Thanks for your time and attention, I hope to see you in the class.